So, hey everybody, my name is Josh. I'm the cybersecurity course instructor with Leveled, and I, I have Tyler here. I um, was a recent graduate of the course, and he agreed to come on an interview with us today. So, thanks for that, and uh, welcome, Tyler. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have you on. I don't know too much. I don't know very much at, at all, actually, about the, the offer you ended up getting, but in the kind of brief email uh, we had, you said you had, you had like three offers or so like after you graduated the the course is that right i did um i did uh very very soon after it was in within like a, a few days i had three offers one was a bank was a school district uh, the one i ended up going with actually was uh it's kind of like a manufacturing scene okay. um but they they do they do a lot of different things but yeah that was the one i ended up going with okay Oh, cool, cool, cool. And then before we like get into that too much, uh, do you want to talk about a little bit maybe what you did before actually trying to make the jump into IT and like cyber and all that? Yeah, so I for almost 10 years, I actually was in law enforcement. I was a police officer. Uh, I did the drone program at my police department. I also did um, the child safety seat, you know, the car seat program. Um, decided uh, you know, that job my wife and my four daughters. So, oh, wow. um, yeah, so decided to, um, switch and the, doing the drone thing is really what got me interested in IT. I never, it wasn't something I planned on or, you know, previously was kind of interested in, but that kind of opened the door for me. The last almost two years now, I've been a, uh, actually a kind of a production supervisor mm. in a manufacturing plant. Mm. Um, and, uh, that kind of got me more into, um, help desk troubleshooting. Oh, that was a nice kind of transition. A little bit. Yeah. Um, in that role, even though I'm, I, I supervise like uh, around 30 people, I, th there's, you know, we use various printers, different software, to all kinds of scanners, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, um, in that role, I'm kind of been like the boots on the ground troubleshooter in case anything goes wrong. And a lot of times they end up preparing things or getting things working again. And that actually was a major selling point for the company that I ended up um getting hired by so cool 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 i i seen um kind of a theme of a, a couple other people who are in like law enforcement like some in some capacity and then move into it um just because like it maybe it's easier on their family i uh, heard that a couple couple times already so that's that's good like how do you feel like uh, i guess going from that type of work into more of like an it type role or did you, did you start working it or you haven't had your start day yet I haven't started yet. No, I haven't. Okay. Um, should be it should be in a couple of weeks. I'll start. Um, um, but uh, I haven't transitioned yet into that. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool. And so, in our our previous email, you talk a little bit about um, you were kind of doing some other stuff to prepare as well, like not just the cyber course. Um, like, can you talk a little bit about that? Like your kind of preparation that you've been going through. Yeah, sure. Um, I I'm trying to just glean everything I can from. Um, you know, LinkedIn and, and, and other resources. Um, back in August, <clears throat> I started with um, Google's IT uh, help desk professional certificate. I did that. And then I did your other course, mm -hmm. um, your, your practical IT professional course. Oh, you did that. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that was super helpful. Uh, I definitely, uh, any uh, viewers, I, re I definitely recommend that. Um, that was uh, pretty, pretty good. So, so I also got, um, actually, um, before I took your course, the cyber course, I, I actually did get my security plus. Um, I studied that for, um, studied for that for a couple months and, um, yeah, ended up getting that. So I still have, still have a lot of work to do, but that's basically the, uh, you know, the tra trajectory that I've been on so far. So, yeah, I want to congratulate you on your execution. That's very impressive. I'm happy to see that. Thank you. That's very cool. And so like, um, getting, talking about the cyber course a bit, do you have like a, a favorite part of that course and like the most difficult part or any thoughts, anything to share about? That? Yeah. The hardest part was, uh, <laughs> watching <laughs> the, uh, the upload. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the, it just took a while and, um, I hated that, but, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it took a couple of days, like three days or something. Um, I started out with like you know a couple of people, you know, um, talked to a few of them on uh, the chant on the you know the homework help group, and we were at like the same <laughs> place in the course, and then all of a sudden I, I kind of fell behind because my 
uh, files just took forever to upload. But anyway, my favorite part was building the maps. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to maps uh, in general. So oh, I yeah. kind of like that and in, in, in seeing where, um, seeing all the various like IP addresses that were attacking and like those, the, you know, the regions that, that they were, that attack was coming from, things like that was really fascinating to me. I, I think uh, maybe largely due to my background in law enforcement, um, the, the idea that there's there's a bad guy out there, <laughs> there's a bad actor out there who's trying to, to do something malicious, uh, it just fascinates me. So. Yeah, to be honest, the map is my favorite part too. Um, it's just super interesting to see it. I, everyone has like a different one. It's like, you know, yeah. did you, um, did you complete your profile or the, uh, not profile, like the, did you do a portfolio yet with like the, yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Um, it, uh, it should all be on there. Can I show it on the B roll? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Um, having gone through the cybersecurity course and then um having like done your interview and stuff is there any part of the course you felt like particularly helped you with like the interview and application process um i think it just largely uh kind of built um like i'm going to use your words but kind of building an intuition you know when you can get into a room with people in a field and talk about things and explain things that you did and how it worked um <clears throat> Uh, mm -hmm. you know that that means a lot and people are interested in someone who is it, it, at least in what I've seen people are interested in uh, you know the fact that I did these things um, you know on my own and basically just just uh, not on my own I had you uh, it was your course obviously but you know self-paced learning type of situation and um, it's not my current field but yet uh, you know if you can showcase that you, you're doing these things and you know these things and I think people are definitely interested in that and, and uh, that was the case with me so yeah I, I highly agree with that um having hired someone before if someone's like proactive as as you have been that's a super it's you know what else can i ask for <laughs> right <laughs> cool so um yeah i was gonna ask like you know how long did it take you to go from finishing a course to landing a job but i think you you answered this in the email already it's like right after you i guess i guess i can ask like uh were you were you kind of like applying like pre-applying before you actually finished the course and then it just happened to like get an offer like um yeah um pretty much uh i was applying for a while um and i had a lot of applications in, hundreds of applications in actually um i had multiple interviews um i had some like teams interviews uh and phone you know phone interviews and things like that but mm -hmm. um a lot of phone calls actually like 30. um dang 30 in 30 phone interviews well like uh <laughs> yeah but some of them were legit and while well, they're all legit but some of them some were just recruiters you know what i'm saying they, they don't uh, really mm -hmm. felt like some of them i don't know it was just they call they get your information but then sometimes i mean that falls through yeah quick sometimes yeah they like they like to gather they like to gather people's information i found <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 um and um i basically like i said it, it basically fell pretty much this, within the same week like after a couple of days after doing the course um but yeah like i said uh i had interviewed and um with these last three um i tried to be vocal in uh you know showcasing and conveying the uh portfolio um i think uh these these the last three jobs where I was offered, those employers were more interested, uh, were the most interested in that. So for the um the the interview uh, where you got hired, um, you don't have to like disclose like the questions or anything, but can you talk about that process a little bit, like um, what types of questions and like how you felt and all that? Yeah. So um, uh, I actually have they they made me they had me take a, a quiz in front of them. Oh really? Um, oh really? Yeah. Um. It was written, but they they read the. It was like a panel interview. And then they read um, questions to me, and then after that, there was another, just like a verbal quiz where they just asked you about questions. And then you had to convey, you know, your knowledge and, and what you knew about those things. Um, but I had this test here that I took. It's only like I don't know, it's like fifteen questions or something like that. But it's various things. There's things on here about where do updates to the BIOS get saved, things like that. Talks asks about protocols used, like uh, protocols used to send and receive mail. Uh, there's some stuff about DNS on here, and then like you know which of the following uses port, whatever, and then the be port number, and then you have to you have to say that. Um, there's uh, one about connector types. 
there was a couple questions on here which uh wasn't too um i'm not too experienced in but cisco doing some stuff in cisco switches i wasn't too familiar with those but uh i've done a little bit of stuff with that on think udemy i did pretty well i had studied learned from previous interviews that i've done you know in the past couple of months you know just uh Go in prepared, you know what I'm saying? You, you have to go into these things prepared. And even though you could walk out of there, Google something and have the answer, you know, everybody knows you can look it up easily. You can probably find the answer easily, but mm. but they, they want to see that you've already kind of dived into it and you're familiar with things. So like I said, early on in the interviewing process, past couple of months, I kind of, um, I don't know, I just got more comfortable with it, I guess. Um, I was pretty, answer your question, I, I, was, I felt pretty comfortable with this one. Um, that's good. That's good to hear. I think a lot of practice probably helped with that quite a bit. Yeah, it really did. Um, especially going into you know, like with it being a kind of a career switch for me, it's, it was uh, you know the practice was definitely uh, definitely needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, do they give you like a, a job title yet, by any chance, or are your uh, yeah. it's, it's a technical support specialist. Oh, nice, nice. And then you don't have to say, you know, exactly or even anything, um, but do you, can you talk about your salary range and if you had to negotiate at all or if you did at all? Um, so uh, it's 48000 I did try to, um, to uh, negotiate um, on two things, the pay and the, and the hours. Uh, they, they, did, um, they did allow me to kind of adjust my hours, hmm. uh, you know, for family life. But they said, and, and they conveyed this early on was if you, Come in and you know um, do a good job and everything. Um, you know you'll get a raise pretty quick and we'll get you you know close to where you want to be. Oh, nice. So, yeah. cool. Are you on like on the the east coast or west coast or like uh, inland somewhere? Like what's your I guess a geographic reason so people have a, a reference? I guess. Yeah, east coast. Um, I live in South Carolina. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Dang. Yeah. That's cool. I'm surprised. I feel like um, I haven't heard someone negotiate for the the hours yet. I haven't even like thought of that actually. So that's that's good to know. Yeah. Um. Reason for that, I I live in kind of a rural rural area. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, we, I live kind of just outside of the town, but the town's not real big. There's there's not much going on, and so we pretty much um you got to drive an hour for pretty much for anything. Oh. So, okay. um, yeah. Yeah. So I um um that's why. You know, when you factor in driving time, mm-hmm. I want to be able to make some soccer games and stuff. You know, my kids, that's yeah. what I conveyed to them. And they, they said they were more than happy to, to adjust that. So, Oh, that's so nice. That's nice. Yeah, it was, it was cool. Cool. So, if, like, going forward, are, do you have any idea? Are you going to try to, like, go more towards security or, like, something else? Or just ch- trying to see, like, how it goes with your current role? Um, That's a good question. Um. Definitely going to see how it goes, but I, I mean, my path trying to uh, stay on right now is I do want to get into security, and I, I'm not sure uh, yet exactly what facet of cybersecurity I want to do. I, I do I really like, you know, like I said before, like threat hunting, things like that. I really like, uh, like the forensics, digital forensics, um, you know, evidence and things like that. So uh, I might, I, I'm, I'm looking into that, but I also really like networking. Like I, I want to study to get my network plus. I actually had started that before I did your course too. And I just, I like, um, you know, they're just all the hardware and just everything that goes. And once it's all interconnected, you know, just building that infrastructure to me is, is fascinating. I think it goes hand in hand with security. I think too. I mean, some of that, some of those things are, are necessary, but, um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I hope that answers your question, but no, yeah, I'm yeah. not a hundred percent. I, I know I want to get into security, obviously, um, but uh, yeah, I just to be honest with you, it's you know all the information sometimes is, is a bit overwhelming. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find out. I mean, your course helped a lot because you know I can see you're doing things, you're doing SOC analyst thing, and um, if I can find other courses that or the facets of um, you know the other realms of cybersecurity, that would, that would be cool. Yeah. And to kind of expand on what you're saying, like, it's hard to really know unless you, until you like start doing something, then you start getting an idea of what you like and what you don't like. And then you can, you know, you can pivot. I've done so many pivoting, like in my career. So like you, you never know what's going to come up. You know? Yeah. I'm, um, having done your course to both your courses, um, and using Azure, I, I think I'm inclined right now to try to get settled in my job. I'm thinking I will lean into getting some Azure certifications and, you know, maybe, you know, look at doing cloud security, um, 
type thing. But I was going to say, uh, you know, doing that, um, you know, I don't know how it goes as far as remote work, uh, but uh, that's another thing I'm kind of interested in down down the road. Maybe is getting something where I can work from home, you know, something hybrid, something like that. That's a good idea. I was going to say, like, the more it's a good way to say this, um, like cloud stuff generally, it has like a high, you know, probability of being remote. Cause like, what are you going to do? Like go to the data center and like do something like most of the time you can work remote. And I found like security as well. And then kind of like the, um, I don't know a good way to say this, like the more advanced in your career, the more like, um, it's easier for you to work remote and it's easier for you to like change the employer's mind to kind of like let you be able to work remote. Um, so I think like, you know, what you're doing is good. And I, I was just about to say, um, yeah, it's like, you're on like the kind of remote guaranteed path type thing right now. So yeah. Cool. Cool. And, and then for anyone watching, like it doesn't have to be related to like any of my courses or anything, but do you have any like kind of final advice or like recommendations? Um, someone maybe wanting to switch to their career or anything like this? Um, I would say stay driven because it's easy. If you're, if you're trying to make a switch, you have to have, uh, um, you just have to stay motivated and stay driven to, like you say, um, in talking about like having zero days and things like that, minimizing those zero days and just, um, you know, just staying committed. Like I said, it's, it can be overwhelming, uh, but I would say just, just keep going and uh, keep learning. And, you know, soon you'll be able to look back and look at all the stuff you, you know, have, see how far you've come. And I would also say um, to people making a career switch, you know, don't forsake the uh, previous life experience that you have. Uh, um, I think, uh, you know, especially if you come from helping people, dealing with people, just anything, a lot of skills I think go, uh, underestimated. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think is if you can convey those things, you know, to potential T employers, uh, I think it goes a long way, you know? So, and to be honest with you, I don't, that was one thing that I was surprised in this journey for me is how a lot of people seem like they would much rather, you know, hire a kid with an IT degree right out of school, which I understand that, but um, just you're going to encounter some of those obstacles. So you just have to, until you find the right fit for you and someone who will kind of notice the qualities you have and wants you to be a part of their team. Yeah. That was kind of long, long winded. Sorry. I totally agree because I've worked with a lot of people who have like way more credentials than me and on paper, they like make me look bad essentially, but they're like, either they're so arrogant or they don't work or they have like too much pride so you, you can't coach them when they need it and it's just like really bad um yeah. so it's way better to have a good attitude and be able to work well with people and even if you're like if someone's below average i would way rather have them uh, like a you know nice coachable person so that's like a really good good point yeah cool well yeah thank you so much again um for agreeing to do this first person to like go through graduate get job and then uh, agree to interview so yeah thank you so much i appreciate yeah. it a lot no problem man thanks for everything i appreciate it yeah no problem we will see you in discord all right